Test five. Listening. There are five parts to the test. You will hear each piece twice. We will now stop for a moment before we start the test. Please ask any questions now because you must not speak during the test. Part one. Now look at the instructions for part one. For each question, choose the correct picture. Look at question one. One. Where will David put his sister's mobile phone? What's wrong, Angela? I've lost my phone, David. I think I left it on my bookshelf this morning. Look, here it is. It's on the sofa. Shall I leave it there or put it back on your bookshelf? Please leave it on that little table in my bedroom, and I'll take it with me when I leave home. Okay, fine. Now listen again. What's wrong, Angela? I've lost my phone, David. I think I left it on my bookshelf this morning. Look, here it is. It's on the sofa. Shall I leave it there or put it back on your bookshelf? Please leave it on that little table in my bedroom, and I'll take it with me when I leave home. Okay, fine. Two. What will the girl buy? Hello, can I help you? I'm not sure what to buy for my brother. He wants to use the internet, but he's interested in photography too. So I thought I might buy him a camera or a computer. Computers are a bit expensive. What about a mobile phone? Then he can use the internet and take photos. That sounds like a good idea to me. Now listen again. Hello, can I help you? I'm not sure what to buy for my brother. He wants to use the internet, but he's interested in photography too. So I thought I might buy him a camera or a computer. Computers are a bit expensive. What about a mobile phone? Then he can use the internet and take photos. That sounds like a good idea to me. Three. How much did the boy's father pay for the TV? Wow, that's a big TV, Tom. Isn't it great? My dad got it for a really good price. My parents bought one last month for three hundred and fifty pounds. But it's not as big as yours. We bought it for an amazing price. It was three hundred and seventy-five pounds before, but it was on sale, so it only cost two hundred and fifty pounds. You were lucky. Shall we watch a film? Good idea. Now listen again. Wow, that's a big TV, Tom. Isn't it great? My dad got it for a really good price. My parents bought one last month for three hundred and fifty pounds, but it's not as big as yours. We bought it for an amazing price. It was three hundred and seventy-five pounds before, but it was on sale, so it only cost two hundred and fifty pounds. You were lucky. Shall we watch a film? Good idea. Four. What did the cat break? Who broke that? I was making a cup of tea to have with my sandwich when I saw that the cat was on the kitchen table. And what happened? I shouted at the cat because it was going to eat the sandwich from my plate. Then it jumped off the table and knocked the lamp on the floor. I was sad to see my nice lamp was broken. Now listen again. Who broke that? I was making a cup of tea to have with my sandwich when I saw that the cat was on the kitchen table. 
And what happened? I shouted at the cat because it was going to eat the sandwich from my plate. Then it jumped off the table and knocked the lamp on the floor. I was sad to see my nice lamp was broken. Five. Which man is the girl's father? In my opinion, this is the best digital camera that is available in our shop now, Debbie. Why do you think it's worth buying it, Dad? Well, many top photographers and journalists use it. It's got a big memory and the battery lasts longer than most cameras. But it is very expensive, isn't it? Yes, we also have cheaper cameras at the shop, but this one really is the best. Now listen again. In my opinion, this is the best digital camera that is available in our shop now, Debbie. Why do you think it's worth buying it, Dad? Well, many top photographers and journalists use it. It's got a big memory and the battery lasts longer than most cameras. But it is very expensive, isn't it? Yes, we also have cheaper cameras at the shop, but this one really is the best. <laughs>